This is the Australian National University Library. And this video will explain the difference between quantitative and qualitative research. In research, we tend to break down methodologies into quantitative or qualitative research, or a combination of the two known as mixed methodology. But what sets these two research methods apart? This video will show you how to know if the research you are reading is qualitative or quantitative and to help you determine which research methodology you should choose for your scholarly research. If you remember just one thing from this video, it should be this. Quantitative equals numbers, numbers, numbers. And qualitative equals words, words, words. Let's get into the nitty gritty by spelling out each methodology's approach. Quantitative research. This type seeks to definitively prove something using numbers and measurable forms. When it looks into a topic, say economics, it looks at all the tangible data around that topic. Financial information, incomes, profit and loss, population breakdowns, even geographical information. It tends to state cold, hard facts that cannot in any way be debated. Things like the height of a mountain, the population of a city, the precise quantity of cells in an organism, the number of votes cast for a particular political party. Qualitative research. This focuses on things that are less concrete using conversational methods. It looks at ideas and concepts that are up for debate using things like open-ended questions, surveys, observations, and interviews to describe things. It can also use things like artifacts, historical documents, or even tracking how a topic is portrayed by a news organization or discussed by the public on social media, always from a perspective that is open to discussion. Research variables. Quantitative research looks at quantifiable variables. That's where the numbers part comes in. It seeks to prove or even disprove a clearly stated hypothesis. Quantitative questions ask how much, how often, does X impact Y? Or, more specifically, does underemployment impact general practitioner visits? Quantitative research looks at statistics and numbers to answer these kind of questions. Think data sets downloaded from the ANU library, the Australian Bureau of Statistics, or mathematical data collected by the researcher. In contrast, qualitative research is a more exploratory form of research and is not necessarily trying to define, prove, or even disprove a hypothesis. One key difference is that qualitative research does not typically have a hypothesis. It asks more open-ended questions, like how do people living in rural Australia view those who live in urban areas? Or how does studying for the HSC impact students from lower socioeconomic backgrounds? The goal is not to predict anything, but rather to better understand a unique situation or group of people. Collecting the data. Quantitative research typically uses a range of data sets and can even change the data they are collecting if they're not getting sufficient amounts. The goal is to find enough data to prove or disprove your hypothesis. So the data used can be a wide range of statistics and information, as long as it's more concrete. Qualitative research usually uses only one source to collect the data from. This could be newspapers, social media posts, observations, diaries, personal interviews, or even historical artifacts like art, tools, or weapons. Final report. For quantitative research, this is where all the data points are analyzed and the correlation between points is stated. Data is broken down. Anything of statistical significance is detailed and any anomalies specified. All mathematical modeling used is directly stated in the report. The conclusion itself is more rigid, definitely not up for debate and is very numbers-based, using complex mathematical algorithms expressed in graphs and statistical data with less descriptive words. For qualitative research, all the information collected is broken down into themes that emerge throughout the research process, which is very time-consuming. The report, therefore, will have a lot of writing in it, with enormous detail put into the analysis, descriptions, quotes, and observations. The results are up for discussion, with further debate and research into the topic actively encouraged. The truth is that there is no one superior model of research. Quantitative research often involves very structured surveys with close-ended questions. One weakness is that this can lead to results being skewed to suit the survey questions. It also requires extensive mathematical analysis, 
which is often difficult for those from a non-statistical background to conduct or comprehend. Qualitative research, by asking more open-ended questions, is able to express topics in a more nuanced way. One weakness is that this can be impacted by the personal biases of the researcher, as their own perspectives can change how they approach, collect, and analyze the data, which in turn can influence the findings. Like the idea of using both methodologies, there's always mixed. If you are at all uncertain about which type of research you should be quoting in your assignments, or which type of research you want to conduct, we've created an infographic to break down the differences. The link is in the video description. If you're still in doubt, it's always best to check with your lecturer or supervisor. And don't forget, the ANU Library is here to help. We have an amazing collection of online materials and loads of guides available to support you. Just click the subscribe button so you never miss a video. Having trouble or need some specific assistance? If in doubt, just reach out. You can always contact the ANU Library for support. We're here to help.